All right, good morning. Good morning from day 31. We got Stops over here on the left. Thank you, Stops, for joining us. It's oh, glad it's to finally awesome. meet you. It's yeah. been awesome. Hawkeye's behind me. We're getting ready to head out. All of our crowd, except for the girl, ladies, have already gone up trail this morning. So we're going to go across the French Broad River and start hiking uphill today, about 11 miles. And uh, we'll see you out there on the trail. But Stops, again, thank you so much for meeting us. It's been oh. an honor and a pleasure to meet it, you finally. It's same here, After guys. six years of communicating back <laughs> and forth. That great food last night. Good <laughs> hospitality here at Laughing Heart. It's been fun. Highly recommend this place. Oh, this is a great trail. place, guys. Uh, anybody coming in down trail, this is the place to stop. Do it. Absolutely. All right, we'll see you, see you up the trail. See ya. Well, last trip through Hot Springs for this season. We were headed out with gear today. All the guys are in front of us. The girls are behind us having breakfast with parents. And, uh, We'll all get together at the shelter here in a few hours. It's a little bit after nine. We've got 11 miles today and almost 5,000 feet of climbing, so it's going to be a slog of a day, but I'm hoping we can get there by 2.30 or so, maybe three, just depends. And, you know, you never know, we might hit a burst and get powered by the town food because I feel like all we've done since we got here two days ago is eat food, and it has been good. Uh, great to finally meet stops. He's a trail angel. He does a lot of his stuff up north in the latter part of the season. But uh, he's friends with my family down east. And uh, we've been communicating for six years now, talking trail and getting suggestions because he knows all about it. He's done up and down. He's not hiked the whole thing, but he's done probably most of it in sections. He does trail magic for the last five years or so out doing hiker feeds. And uh, it's really awesome to finally be able to meet him and spend some time with him. He came in about 10 o'clock night before last and uh, he's gonna head back east here in a little bit. We'll probably get where we're going before he gets home, but we wish him safe journeys and Godspeed and hope to see him when we get up north So, Okay, we have wildlife on the trail this morning. And there he goes, the uh, Eastern Gray Squirrel. Well, one more look at the Alpine Motel in a bush in front of it. Alpine Court, here we go. Yeah, this is where we stayed in 2019. Don't even think it's open anymore. Looks rather dilapidated, but oddly, it doesn't look a lot different than it did when we stayed there. And here's the uh, visitor center right over here, I think. No, not this building, it's the next building. This is the visitor center for Hot Springs. Neat little tourist town, they've got all kinds of stuff. We're gonna cross the French Broad River shortly. Rafting trips there. Uh, there's a satellite for the NOC down here, I believe. Um, there's just lots of stuff to do here. They actually have hot springs that you can go uh, soak in the hot springs for an hour or so. All right, that's the Spring Street, uh, Spring Creek Tavern where we ate supper a couple of nights ago. This place used to be a restaurant. We ate there before when we were here. We're passing the outfitters. You can get all kinds of candles here and all kinds of other gear as well cool stuff and we're about to leave the uh, main street of hot springs we're passed by the library finally found my library card i got a new library card here yesterday so i can add to my libraries that i can choose from for audiobooks and uh, i'll push that in the phone whenever i get a chance up here and that'll give me one more library i can choose from so that's cool it's been a nice stay here and we're glad to be here and Kind of sad to be going out, but also it's time. We need to move on up the trail and make our way towards Irwin. So right behind this sign, and I'll walk past to get a better picture in a second, is the Hot Springs Resort. Uh, I'll try to look up some history. I should have done that. That's my bad. But it's, it's back there, and I, I think that's where you can actually go take the hot spring baths. I'm not certain. But kind of a neat looking place right there. Beautiful little town. Well, that's where we're headed, right there. We got switchbacks coming. We're gonna cross the French Broad River right down here. And then we'll take a right and walk down along the side of it for a while. And then we start climbing up here. That's called Lover's Leap. And I think it's pretty heavily switchbacked, but we're gonna get some really beautiful views of the town when we get up there. Well, we've turned off the road now, and we are uh, heading along the French Broad River for a little ways, and then we'll turn uphill and start climbing. Oh, that is, I see what, he's talking about big rock now. It is a big rock. Wow. I bet we'll be on top of that in just a minute. 
probably looking down, but uh, we got a good flat start and then we're gonna go uphill here for a while, but it'll all be good and we're gonna sleep well when we get there tonight. Uh -huh. All right, Rapids right here on the French Broad. I do some rafting around here, I'm pretty sure that would be a lot of fun to come over as long as you stayed in the boat. Well, here's a look back down over the French Broad River into Hot Springs. We came from way up there yesterday or two days ago. Ah, now we're going up and out on the other side. Beautiful little area right here. The French Broad is just gorgeous right there in the little town, hamlet, whatever you want to call it. But Hot Springs was a great, great place to visit. Well, this is the rock I told you we'd be on top of a few minutes ago, and we are. And if you look way centered out in the distance right there, I'm gonna zoom in, it's probably gonna go digital. You can see the lodge at Laughing Heart that we just left. Right there. And there's the bunkhouse. Can't tell if the girls are still there or not, but they'll be on along behind us in a little bit. So, uh, beautiful day of hiking today. Probably gonna to have some rain tonight and tomorrow, but we'll make the best of it. At least it's warmer. We got some people camping right down here too. I just noticed that. It'd be a neat place to be unless there was a flood and then you'd be in real trouble. Well, here's one more view of Hot Springs before we get to the top of this ridge right here. There's the bridge we came over right there. There's the uh, actual Hot Springs. I'm betting this little white thing over here to the right is probably where the springs are. They probably have individual cubicles or families or friends or what have you. Laughing Heart Lodge is right there between the trees and uh, beautiful little view right up here at the top of Lover's Leap. Well, the trail is still climbing up above the French Broad River right there. You can sort of see where we've been. Can't see hot springs anymore. We've hiked uh, along this bridge line now for a ways. About an hour out. Haven't checked mileage yet. Not sure that I will. I'm going to walk until I get tired and then I'll quit. Got somebody coming southbound right here, so I'm going to ring off and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Well, still traveling through the woods here today. We had a big up and it's not been too bad after that. We are briefly on the Pump Gap Trail with the AT running corresponding, but we just jumped off of it. And we'll go down the hill here. Um, we just saw Jeff and, or did, dear Jeff, Medicine Man and Cupid back at the water source. They got out a little bit ahead of us, but uh, Gavin said hello and walked on past and I, I stopped. Cupid was eating, I was gonna, Maybe get some water, I did. Now I'm gonna head on down through and uh, just see how far we can make it. We're about two hours out now and uh, I'm just kind of curious to see, especially with that early climb, how far I'll be in two hours. Cause we're only doing about 11 today. We'll be there mid afternoon, I think. Gorgeous weather today, thank you. To the heavens above. Probably gonna deal with some rain this week. Maybe some next week, I don't know. We're just kind of looking out and judging it one day at the time, but if it rains, we're gonna hike. So, you know, I got a message from a dear friend Pringles this morning, and uh, that was her word to me, hikers hike. I think, I don't know if that was an original Odie expression or not, but that's what we're doing. Pringles, we'll see you soon. Uh, we'll be up in Par Parisburg, that area. It's not too far down the road. Uh, we've got quite a few folks along the trail that we're hoping to see. Uh, I got a message from uh, Hippie who has started the trail this year. He's got a hostel up in uh, Harper's Ferry that uh, we'll try to look into and see about. I was hoping we'd see him there, but if he's gonna be on the trail behind us, we won't see him, but we'll catch up to him soon enough. We may or may not dip back down for trail days. I haven't decided yet. I think we're gonna be so far north of Damascus, it's probably not gonna be worth the interruption of our trip to come back this year, but for sure next year, We'll have to figure out how to get to trail days because it's only an hour and a half from home. Spend some time there and see all the hikers that we've met. Well, just kind of booking along through the woods here and I had forgotten about this. Uh, I knew it was here, I just didn't realize it was today. This is the dam right here to the pond right up that we're gonna be passing around. I remember being here before, there were people camped over there in the woods making noise, we thought they were bears. But uh, kind of neat right there. That's holding back. It's leaking over a little bit. We'll get up the stairs right here and show you 
the pond. Steep stairs. And here it is. And we have a bench and we have the, uh, the dam right over here. Really pretty. Huh. So we go around the edge of this, I'm pretty sure, and then go up an old country road and I don't remember what happens after that, but we'll keep walking. Well, out of the woods and away from the pond, we're walking this little dirt road for a few miles, well, not miles. We're going to turn left at this big tree right here. But I wanted to show you the tree because the tree is huge. Really pretty tree. I see a uh, kickover blaze on the trunk, which means we're going to be hanging a left right here. Probably going back down in the woods. I just looked, we're a little over five miles in today, which is not bad. Not quite halfway, but we're getting there. Tomorrow's gonna be our big day of almost 16. And then we got a little over 15 the following day. I'm trying to plan our way into Irwin. And uh, it'd be kind of nice if the shelters were spaced a little differently so that we could uh, hit them at a nice 13 mile clip every day or something like that. But it's not always like that. There's the kickover blaze right there. So the top blaze being offset to the left means the trail's gonna turn off to the left right here. And then looking down the road, I see a poplar tree down there, I think it is. I can't tell from here with another blaze on it right there. So this is the way for a little while. Well, we've been dumped out into a one lane bridge that's locked off on the far end. I don't know what the uh, road is underneath. Let's see if we see a road sign in just a minute. Um, the right way. I remember this from previous. Yeah, I don't see a road sign anywhere. Steep grade, runaway truck ramp. I'm sure it tells us on the map. But, uh, we'll hang a left right here by this car that's parked and go back down in the woods and I think we'll very shortly begin climbing. Be careful, this yep, I see it. Yeah. So the honeymoon is over. Huh? We just stopped for lunch and now we had just a flat walk for 100 yards and now we're going upstairs and Gavin and I both said at the same time, I hate stairs, but we're gonna do them and we're gonna climb for, I don't know, about two and a half miles. Doesn't look on the map to be quite as steep as what we were on this morning, but it sure does look like it crosses some contour lines at near about right angles, which means there's not a lot of gradual. It's just gonna go up the hill. I can almost reach out and touch the stairs too in front of me right here, they're so steep. All right, done with that stair. I got one more. And boom, it wasn't really a stair, that was just a water bar. So here we go. Still beautiful weather. Stopped and had lunch right back there, uh, back there at the road crossing. Uh, the guys caught up with us. We've been leapfrogging this morning. Not sure how we caught them up because they left a little bit before us, but we'll bounce back and forth and we'll all be at the same place tonight. Hope the ladies are uh, underway and safe. We're expecting them in, them in to be later on today, but we'll see them tonight, I think. So moving up the trail, we've got this footbridge here. Interesting, it has a placard on it. I'll see if I can zoom to it. There it is, 2020. So this was not here when we came before. Um, right now there's nothing flowing underneath it, but I'm sure sometimes there is. But, We'll plow right across and continue on up our trail. Coming along a section of trail now where there's been some burn scar. I don't know when this was on fire. I smell a little bit, a little bit of smoke, but not very recent. It's obviously dead out now. I don't know how far it lasts. It went up, up this hill right here. You can see right here where they've cleared a line, I would assume, because there's no vegetation and that's too steep to be a trail. So that's kind of neat how they were able to clear that line. This may have been a control burn. Uh, it's hard to say. Oh yeah, you can see right here. And there's line, there's uh, there's some tape down there at the bottom flagging. And you can see definitely they've cleared about a six foot fire line right here to keep this, this from uh, spreading out too far. So we'll walk up here and see how far it goes. But I'm guessing, just based on the evidence around it, it was a control burner. It was very quickly contained. 
Well, I've just, I think, maybe reached the peak of this little two and a half mile climb out of where we had lunch. And it's just a wide open forest. Uh, there's even some grass up here. We just passed a little campsite right over there, just north of that burn scar that I showed you earlier. But uh, we're standing here at the top, wide open, winds blowing, it's a nice little breeze, nothing crazy. And uh, I've got a little bit less than two and a half miles to go to the shelter. So, moving on up the trail, looks like I've got a steep downhill. I'm looking ahead and there's a big dip right there in front of me. I just hope we go down gradual with some switchbacks and it's not a knee pounding climb down. I'll let you know. Well, Beth had said somebody was asking about water filtration. So here's the system. Um, this is a CDOT bladder. Let's see if I can hold it up. It's upside down right now. This little orange slider comes off and uh, you can, it's got a really wide mouth. You can fill it with, you know, dipping in a spring or running water into it from a pipe or whatever. Um, and it's got a closed lid right here that caps it off. I've got my Sawyer out here on the top of it. And I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's get in the shelter. There you go, there's my Sawyer. So basically you just run the water through the filter. Um, I've got mine set up, this little blue ring right here uh, will accept a smart water bottle. And I'll show you that And just, I'll have to put a phone down and screw it on and all that kind of jazz. But I can take the lid off a smart bottle and screw it on there. And then I can just roll the bag into the filter and push the water through, or I can hang it up. That's why the paracord's on it uh, down here at the bottom is I'm, I've already filled one gallon, so I don't worry about overfilling this one will about fill up the next bottle so i'll just hang this one and let it drip i'll show you that in a sec all right so here's the whole thing in action i've got a, a second bottle or a second bladder back here filled up but essentially the uh smart bottle you just screw it on that blue ring right there it's 250 on amazon i've got a video about it and then back it off about a half turn to let air escape and then the water just flows from the c knock bag through the filter um, if you want to go a little faster, you can roll the bag and push it through, but it, that's kind of how it works. Well, this is the view looking back at uh, the shelter in our camping area. You can see four of five tents. The ladies aren't here yet. We're expecting them whenever. Um, but uh, Hawkeye and I got down here early, so we set up right behind the shelter. And then Medicine Man and Dear Jeff are up on the hill. Cubit's in the shelter trying to huddle up and stay warm. This is another one of those shelters where the platform is about five and a half feet long, which is longer than I am. So that given, given that and the tin roof that's on the shelter that looks like it may have come over on the Mayflower, I decided maybe I would tent tonight instead. We're gonna have some rain overnight, I'm afraid. Uh, and we're gonna have some rain tomorrow, probably up to an inch, they say. That's gonna be a, hopefully not a miserable day. We'll figure it out. It's not gonna be freezing cold, that's good. I think that, is going to be in the mid 50s tomorrow so maybe we can hike in shorts and a rain jacket and it won't be absolutely horrible and uh, the day following it's supposed to be sunny again so we'll be able to dry some stuff out and uh, give us a little reprieve but then they're calling for showers again over the next few days after that so it's, it's, it's going to be an up and down weather week but we'll make the best of it appreciate you joining us for today's video uh, i think this is day 31 and i'm going to Go ahead and call it quits for tonight and get in my tent and get settled and hopefully rest well tonight. And we'll pick up tomorrow and do as much filming as we can do in the rain. So thanks again for watching and we'll talk to you soon.